All right, hey, what up, folks? Jesse with Southern Reels, and tonight it is a Thursday night, and I'm actually out here in the shop prepping for a trip, hopefully prepping for a trip this Saturday out to the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, which is still, you know, kind of early in March, and typically I don't fish much this time of year because it's still pretty cold and windy, but I have been seeing some videos online, and some of my friends have been talking with me about some action actually already starting up this year out um, in the waters and one or two videos in particular posted by a fellow youtuber that i follow um, his channel is come on fish 01 uh, this guy is pretty raw he's been doing the youtube thing for years six seven years now and he really knows his shit to be honest with you and i always love watching his videos because i've learned a lot from him and joe i know if you're watching me hit me up man because i definitely want to get out and do some fishing with you sometime with that being said i've got myself and another friend hopefully this saturday we want to go out to the big bridge and try to catch some tall fish out there. The weather is presenting a unique situation. They're saying it's going to be very calm winds for this time of year. That morning they're calling for like two mile an hour winds. At this point that may change, you know, by mid afternoon, like six or seven mile an hour. So that's pretty much phenomenal conditions for March to be out on the big water. So I'm pretty much out here just kind of prepping some stuff. I went ahead and tied up a bunch of uh, double dropper loop rigs here with some uh, two opt bait holder hooks. Basically, these are the ones that I'm using right here the Gamagatsu two opt bait holder hooks. I buy these in bolt at the local tackle shops. I've got you know this tied on 30 30 pound fluorocarbon leaders and bagged individually. I got one, two, three, four of them ready to go, and also one on this pole right here, which is a quantum um bait caster set up this one has a flipping switch on it which i find invaluable for fishing for like a sheephead hogfish especially flounder fishing a bait caster with a flipping switch on it to where you can just depress it and drop it and let go of it and it automatically engages without having to turn the crank that makes uh, fishing with it much easier also i'm going to take this other setup here which is a uh, another quantum accuracy reel it's a little bit cheaper version here this one i have uh, just some braided line with a 30 pound leader and i'm going to fish some of these um, uh, jigs that i got before my last hog fishing trip actually these are what i used when i went out to the concrete ships the last time i don't know if the color matters i heard that this was a very productive color and it sure enough produced for me very well that day so i'm going to be trying them i also have some that i found same kind of color and weight but these have like a swing hook on the back of them i haven't tried these yet but this one right here is the uh, jig that I used for that last fishing trip that caught every single one of those togs. So uh, phenomenal first try for jig fishing for tog fish. So I'm definitely going to give that a try as well. Um, probably will depend on where they are if they're honestly I don't know do they sit on the bottom or do they suspend. I know I know sheephead sometimes will suspend in the water column like along uh, bridge pylons and stuff. I don't know if tog fish do that or not or if they stick to the bottom honestly i'm still learning about that so hey if you got any input on that just you know leave something in the comments i would definitely appreciate it but that's pretty much what i'm doing tonight kind of digging through my tackle and get everything back ready uh, loaded up in the van over here i haven't had the hobie out in a while i'm kind of just making sure i have everything ready to go that way if i have to leave out really early saturday morning i ain't out here struggling because i do kind of have to work late tomorrow so that's pretty much all i'm doing and i do want to apologize i know i haven't posted many videos to my channel lately i did do a i guess a vlog a while back about doing some pond fishing backstory to that i woke up the next morning and it was pouring down rain and it poured for like three days straight so didn't get to do that fishing trip kind of bummed about that and honestly i should have checked the forecast before i posted that video about it but oh well it, you know it is what it is so i'm gonna try to start getting some more content up this time of year i usually do a lot of home renovations and stuff to try to get stuff caught up around the house that i don't really want to spend the time on when it's fishing season uh, I'm currently involved in a sunroom project, which is why I have a, a brand new door sitting in my shop over there. We're converting an outdoor sunroom into an indoor sunroom and actually bringing it into the house. So there's been a lot of electrical, HVAC, 
putting new windows in, new tile, sheetrock. So that's been tying up a lot of my free time that I've had. So, you know, being a contractor, it's nice to be able to do these things at home on your own. But at the same time, it kind of sucks to have to come home after doing it all day long and then do it all evening and weekend at home as well. But it, it does pay off in the long run because it definitely adds to the value of our home. So anyway, that's all that's been going on. Hopefully I will get to go fishing this Saturday. I'm really stoked about it and I'm hoping we get on something good and the conditions are as good as they're saying they will be. Hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be reeling in some nice quality fish. So peace out guys. Y'all have a good night. Thanks.